All right, what's going on, everybody? Broken Games HDR. So yesterday, Capcom um, had their showcase, and um, it's good that we're getting a lot of gaming news um, and information about content to come, because even though there's not necessarily uh, the m most games to play right now, not a, not a lot of new releases, it's good that we're getting info on content to come. Now, uh, now you know, this showcase, honestly, could have been an email or, you know, a, a shorter, um, you know, update video, you know, that they just uploaded to YouTube. Uh, but I think a lot of these publishers just like to call it a showcase and premiere it as one because it gets more views. When you call something a showcase, everybody's kind of going to like show up and then tune in and it's around E3 time. So, you know, people's eyes are looking looking for stuff so they call it a showcase even though it's really not um so i'm gonna go through um you know this should be fairly quick every time i say that it ends up being past 15 minutes but we're gonna go through uh what they showed yesterday and i was gonna make this video yesterday but i wasn't feeling well so i was like hey, i could wait till tomorrow um so they started out with the monster hummer M monster hummer whoa no not not monster hummer monster hunter rise sunbreak uh demonstration and i'm not a monster hunter fan um i've tried it never been able to get into it um i tried monster hunter world and i tried what's the other one it was another one i don't know if it was rise i tried another one on p because i tried a demo of monster hunter world i think it is on playstation and then i tried another another one of them on pc but yeah i could never get into these games um it's so weird, right? Because I say all the time, the most popular games, like I barely know anybody who plays them. It, it kind of shows you how like as hardcore gamers, and, and I do feel like it's a lot, it, I do feel like it's a lot of hardcore gamers who, who play Monster Hunter, but like m some of the most popular games, I know nobody who plays them. And I know that's an anecdotal, uh, you know, but like, but I feel like my reach as far as the type of gamers I interact with is pretty wide, like on, whether it's on YouTube, on Twitter, wherever else. And I don't know nobody who plays like some of these, mo you know, really popular games because Monster Hunter sells crazy millions. But like, I don't know nobody who actually likes him. I think I know one person that that like really plays Monster Hunter. I think that's like never something. I think he's a Monster Hunter fan. Other than that, don't know nobody. So, you know, I don't. I don't really have nothing to say about this Monster Hunter uh, Rise Sunbreak demo. Um, it did seem like the f I thought the 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 frame rate was bad in the game, but apparently it's just Capcom's feed. Uh, I was watching it both on twi on uh, Twitch and YouTube. The YouTube feed seems seemed to be a lot more choppy. Um, the Twitch feed was a little bit smoother. So yeah, I don't really have nothing to say about uh about Monster Hunter. Let me refresh this because something right there is like not loading. Don't know why. Oh, that was just an ad or whatever. Um, okay. So next was Exo Primal. So this game is extremely insulting. And I think I speak for on behalf of all Capcom fans when I say this game is insulting. It's just very like taunting. It's just they're just throwing it in your face. This game where you fight dinosaurs with mechs. And in the first trailer of this game, there was even a woman with red hair that, you know, resembled Regina. And I'm like, Capcom, do you think it's possible that Capcom doesn't know that people want Dino Crisis? Is it possible that they don't know? Is it possible that they don't know people want Onimusha, maybe people, the people probably want Dino Crisis more than Onimusha. I definitely want Onimusha, but like, I think if you made Onimusha and Dino Crisis, people are going to buy them. Capcom has to know this, right? They, they're not aloof. They're not this, they're not that distant, right? People, they got to know. I, but instead you show this stupid, unga bunga, generic shooting dinosaurs with mechs and high-powered, high-tech soldiers? Like, who wants this? Who cares about this? Like, 
this doesn't look fun. This doesn't look interesting. Like, this is just like, I can guarantee you nobody's going to play this game. Like, it's, it's, this game is going to come and go. You're, it's going to release, and then you're never going to hear about it again. Because, like, it, man, come on. Let me not w- even waste my breath on this. Like I said, it's, it's absolutely insulting. So I don't even want to talk about it no more. Um, Capcom issued a message about Dragon's Dogma, which fans are desperate to see a sequel to. Uh, the director did not announce a sequel. Instead, uh, preferring to announce the upcoming release of a video celebrating the game's 10-year anniversary on June 16th. Perhaps Capcom will announce the sequel then. Also, what happened to Deep Down? Was that just officially canceled? Remember we saw it, what was it, like, I want to say like maybe eight years ago, and then never heard nothing about it again? I don't even remember them officially canceling it. You know, what happened to that? Mm, But, so yeah, the, the first parts of this showcase were stuff I don't care about. You know, stuff that was spitting in my my face and insulting me. Um, But then, then it got good. So they moved into Resident Evil Village, right? We're getting Resident Evil Village content, and and it's exciting. So first, we're getting um, the Shadow of Rose story DLC. um, And, you know, that's... You should, if you're watching this video, I assume you already beat Resident Evil Village. You should have by now. Uh, you know, the Shadow of Rose story is Ethan's um, daughter, right? Um, that, you know, you get to see, you know, the, the, the game ended, you know, with you seeing her and what's going on with her. So now uh, there's going to be some DLC which you get to play as her. Great. Um, introducing, you know, Rose as an officially playable character into the Resident Evil universe. Uh, that's in third person. Um, also, we get uh, mercenary mode, uh, you know, where you get to play as several of the Resident Evil Village villains, Lady Demetresk, um, uh, Heisenberg, um, you also get to play as uh, Chris, I believe, and a few other characters. You know, mercenary mode is a staple in, in a lot of these Resident Evil games. Um, and pe- I'm sure people are going to lose their mind. You know, you know, you know this, this fandom and this infatuation with Lady Demetresk. So I'm sure people saw that and are like, oh, my God, step on me and all that stuff. You know, crush me and weirdos. Anyway, so, yeah, mercenaries mode. That's great. Shadow of Rose, Rose DLC. Great. But then they announced an official third person mode for Ethan in the main story all coming out October 28th. I'm very excited about this. Okay. Let me tell you why I'm excited about this. Aside from the fact that obviously, you know, y'all know, I, I always say that third person is the, is the superior God chosen, uh, camera angle. Okay. This superior camera angle, right? Not I'm not debate. That's not up for debate. Yes, there are a few exceptions, um, you know, that I think s- some games are better in first person. But overall, third person is the better, uh, you know, better camera. So I beat Resident Evil Village on PC and I could not play it. And I, and I beat it like five times and I was going to like replay it on PS5. Um, probably to get the platinum because I loved it that much. I liked it, really liked it that much. But when I played it on PS5, it was unplayable to me because the aiming was atrocious. I went on PC. I played it with mouse and keyboard, so you know it was, it, you know, it was very precise, very accurate. You know, the the mouse is an extension of my arm. Didn't feel that way with the controller with Resident Evil Five. I don't know how with Resident Evil Village. I don't know how anybody played Resident Evil Village on PS5. Kudos to you on a controller because when I played it, it was terrible. It was horrible. And to me, it was like, it felt like a mod. It didn't feel like this game was developed by people who knew how to uh, how to make fir- controls in first person. Didn't feel like that, right? Obviously, the Capcom team doesn't specialize in that. You know, most of the Resident Evil games have been in third person that they've they're experts in that. 
So even when they went to uh, first person with um, uh, with six, seven, excuse me, with seven, still didn't feel great. To me, it still looked and felt like a mod, right? So now that they're putting it in third person, I wonder if they're also like tweaking the controls to, you know, I, I hope, and, and by the way, there was like mods on PC. I, 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 pl I tried a few of them. Um, um, you know, third person mods on, on PC. And, you know, those, those were fun and everything like that. And, uh, but I really wanted it on, on, on PlayStation. So it's great that it's coming, but I hope they also like adjusted the controls to, um, to be right. You know, I hope they didn't just back up the camera to third person and keep, and, and it's like, it still feels like the first person control. I hope it's not that. Um, because even on the third person mod on PC, you know, it's kind of janky. It's, you know, it, it's not, it's not a native, you know, proper experience, you know? So I'm really excited for that, um, third person mode coming, um, October 28th. And, you know, horror fans are eating very good because you got the, the, you know, all this Resident Evil Village DLC, then you got um, Callisto Protocol, and then you got Dead Space Remake, and then you got Resident Evil 4 Remake. So it's it's good. It's going to be a nice, like, four to five months for horror fans. Um, <clears throat> so very excited about that. And uh, they showed a little bit more Resident Evil 4. Not too much, um, but the, the, the game looks amazing. Um, they're... They're making the game a lot more, a lot more dark and creepy and claustrophobic. They're setting the atmosphere in, in four was good for its time, but now it's like when they he was like walking through the woods. You know, a lot things felt a lot more creepy. Like I said, a lot more claustrophobic and everything like that. As it you know, as it should, um, just a lot. Just you know, they're just setting they're setting the tone right. So um, yeah, Resident Evil Four is is looking looking amazing and i can't wait for that y'all know resident evil 4 is one of my favorite games of all time i beat it an ungodly amount of times and then we got next gen updates for resident evil 2 3 and 7 um so i think i may i beat res i beat all of these resident evils on on pc i may go back and beat resident evil 2 and 3 on ps5 and maybe get the platinum um, sometime in the near future, Resident Evil Seven. I don't. I didn't like Resident Evil Seven like that. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back to that game. No, I'm really not sure. Uh, Cause I just, yeah, I just didn't like it that that much. I gotta. Maybe I'll probably download it, turn it on. You know, it's a free update, free next gen update. So that's great. Um, but Resident Evil Two and Three, I'm definitely gonna at least, you know, um, boot them up. Um, but who knows? I'm, I'm very, like, fickle when it comes to my mood. Like, I, I, I got to beat games based on my mood, especially when it comes to games I've already beaten. I could be like, yeah, I want to I want to rebeat this game. Right. And then I turn it on and I'm like, you know, I don't feel like doing this. And I turn it right off. That happens to me plenty of times. Um, it literally just happened to me with Horizon um, Forbidden West. Right. Because they they announced that uh, that um, new game plus and, you know, I down I redownloaded it. You know, started New Game Plus, did a few, you know, a few missions. I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like doing this and deleted it. I'm, I'm very like mood based when it comes to the games I, you know, um, games I want to rebeat. Right. It takes a lot for me to like rebeat a game. I may love a game. Right. I may absolutely love a game, but rebeating a game is just uh, it's just a huge like task for me mentally because you know some people love rebeating games but for me a lot of the fun is gone once i beat a game like because i know everything you know part of the fun in games is experience it's experiencing it for the first time like it took me like four or five years just to go back and get the platinum for god of war just because mentally I could not like bring myself to to want to rebeat that game again. And God of War is my game of the generation. It was it was literally my game of that generation of last generation, best game of, of that generation. And it took me years 
to go back and like kill those and kill all the Odin's ravens and collect those treasure maps and rebeat the game. Like it's it's a huge burden for me. It's a huge ask. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I actually uh, download Resident Evil two and three. I don't know. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna give this 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 uh, showcase a grade because I don't really look at it. I don't really think of it as a showcase. It's it's honestly just kind of like in a collection of updates because none of these are new. None of this is it's not like new announcements or anything. This is stuff that was already announced and it's just updates. It's just a collection of updates, update videos. So, yeah, I'm not really going to give it a grade. I don't really think that's necessary. Uh, but I'm happy about the um, the latter announcements with Village 4 and, you know, the other Resident Evil parts. So, but y'all got to give us Dino Crisis and, and Onimusha. Y'all playing games, Capcom. Y'all really playing games. So, yeah, let me know what y'all think about um, everything in the Capcom showcase. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter if you're not. Link is in the description for everything. Hit that join button. Support the channel. Uh, hit the notification bell also so you can be part of the notification gang. And uh, I will... I think there was also something else. I feel like some, this is missing something. Wasn't there, like, something with uh, Street Fighters? Didn't they mention Street Fighter Six or... Um, like a collection, yeah. There was like a, a street, a collection of of retro fighting games or something like that. There was something like that. I don't, I don't see that here though. But not like I would have much to say about it anyway. So uh, yeah, I'm out of here. I'll catch y'all on the next video. I think somebody else is having a a showcase today. It was Capcom, and it was somebody else having a showcase. Not sure who, who um, but. I'll probably make a video about that too. All right. I'll catch y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.